that it's to nonsense. Uh, yeah. Similarly, uh, you went to Cap Nantes. This huge migration in the United States. Is the progress? Returning, moving to the Mr. south. Uh, you know, they're voting with their feet because they like a lot of the lifestyle in places like Georgia and Interact. The objective reality of the whole thing on me is the south being this you know, hot bed of racism uh, today. I mean, I've heard one of the racism is an enormous problem with the south a generation ago and before that. Um, but this idea that somehow it is an unchanging monolithic geographic entity that is synonymous with racism, I think is, is not grounded by the facts, it's silly, and it's slander. Nationalreview.com. If you want to read more about the work of uh, Jonah Goldberg and uh, the others who work on uh, the website, and you can go to our CCPN website as well. Uh, Mr. Goldberg, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. It was fun. Uh, coming up in 30 minutes, you will see the House, I'm uh, sorry, the U.S. Senate come into a pro forma session. Uh, most of uh, legislators are on a uh, two-week break, but the House, Senate's staying open. And uh, earlier this week, we had the WashingtonPost.com. Paul, can you tell us why? Paul Kane of WashingtonPost.com. The Senate has effectively begun a two-week Thanksgiving break, but Senate Majority Leader Terry Reid decided to bring the Senate back every three days for a brief pro forma session. Why is that? Uh, Senator Reid has been increasingly concerned about uh, two things that he feels the White House has not been fair with the same Democrats on, one of which is the use of so-called recess appointment, and that's the power that the President has to appoint interim people to executive and judicial branch positions without getting the normal Senate confirmation from things. They get an, uh, an active basis, essentially, for the next year and sometimes even longer, depending on the time of when the appointment is made. But that appointment has to be made when the Senate is officially on recess, when the Senate is adjourned for more than three days. So that's the only time the President can use this recess for the power. Senator Reid's also really concerned that of late, he feels